the tobacco ban did not curb the illicit market. Uh, in fact, it did the complete opposite. It encouraged the illicit market. Uh, and lastly, the, the, the government will have to realize that they need to, to abandon these arbitrary um, regulations that have really damaged South Africa's economy unnecess unnecessarily. The South African government's tobacco ban has not only caused the loss of billions of rands in tax revenue, but it has also bolstered up growth in the sale of tobacco products in the illicit market. Joining me to discuss this further is Gerbrand van Heerden. Gerbrand, can you please tell us how the government has justified the tobacco ban? Hello, Simpe. Yes, so um, South Africa was one of only a handful of countries that implemented a tobacco ban. So we implemented the tobacco ban on the 27th of March and it lasted up until the 17th of August. So that's a ban of nearly five months. Now, the reason why the government uh, decided to put a ban in place on the, on the sale of uh, cigarettes is because they argued there is a strong correlation between the use of tobacco products and a sharp increase in COVID-19 infections. Now, subsequent studies have actually shown later on that um, yes, uh, using tobacco products may worsen your COVID-19 symptoms, but they don't necessarily lead to a sharp increase in COVID-19 infections. Yet the government is very adamant about implementing the ban. They feel justified uh, about uh, putting it in place. And that is why they're appealing a high court judgment in December, uh, which ruled that the, the tobacco ban was unconstitutional, was unnecessary, and there wasn't enough evidence to justify the, the continuation of the ban. Um, and our Minister of um, Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, uh, Dr. Nikozazana Dlamini Zuma, uh, she actually made two uh, points about the ban earlier in 2020. She said that the tobacco ban will be very good for South Africa uh, for two reasons. The first reason is it will encourage uh, lots of smokers in South Africa to stop smoking. Uh, so it will improve overall health in the country. And secondly, it will help to reduce sales in the illicit market and uh, therefore curb the illicit market. But we now know that's not actually the case. And Hari, has the ban actually worked? Did people stop smoking during the lockdown? Simpe, the short answer is no. Um, so the National Income Dynamics Study, or NEDS for short, they recently released their, um, their third CRAM survey, where they uh, particularly looked at the tobacco industry and South African smokers. Now, what they saw was that there uh, are 6.7 million uh, South African adults that smoke. And one of their most interesting findings is that during the implementation of the ban, 85% um, of South African smokers continued to smoke while the ban was in effect. Um, only around 8% quit during the ban and another 7% did not give answer to the survey question. Uh, also interestingly is that after the ban was lifted, half of those that quit um, uh, or, or abandoned their smoking habit uh, took up uh, smoking again after the restrictions were removed. So no, the, the, the ban did not prevent people from smoking. The second point that Dr. Dlamini Zuma made is that the tobacco ban will curb uh, activity in the illicit market. And actually the complete opposite is true. Now NIDS actually um, took a closer look at this. And what they saw was that the market share of more formal players represented by multinationals, such as uh, British American Tobacco, um, that market share of more formal players have fallen sharply and have only recovered to a limited extent. Um, while the market share for more illicit players have continued to remain strong even after the ban was lifted. So they saw that um, 
the market share for multinationals in the sales of cigarettes uh, stood at 70% before the ban. Uh, during the implementation of the ban, that proportion fell to 30%. And then after the ban was lifted in August, that proportion increased to 50%. So there has been a bit of a recovery, but um, it's still far from where um, more formalized players uh, were before the ban. And illicit uh, or plays in the illicit market are in a much stronger position than before the tobacco ban. So, Khari, what are the financial implications of the growth in the illicit sales of tobacco products? Now, the illicit market um, is an unregulated market. That means they don't, uh, players in the illicit market don't pay tax. And uh, so if there's tremendous growth in South Africa's illicit market when it comes to the sales of cigarettes, um, while more formalized players have yet to recover after the tobacco ban, that's really going to punch a hole in South Africa's um, finances. And um, to put that in, con uh, in context, um, National Treasury budget, they estimated that uh, a total of 15 billion rand uh, would have been collected initially from taxes on tobacco products. But then the pandemic happened and the, the tobacco ban happened for five months and, um, uh, and therefore uh, tax revenue on tobacco products could not be collected from formalized players. And NIDS uh, was able to estimate that due to the ban, we have lost 6 billion rand in total uh, in tax revenue. So that is money that um, could have been used to support small businesses in South Africa during the nationwide lockdown. Even more concerning is the fact that South Africa it has been in the dire financial straits for a very long time now. We need to cherish whatever tax revenue sources we have. And, um, and not only that, but there has also been, the, the tobacco ban has also had a major ripple effect uh, in terms of the value chain uh, um, emanating from the tobacco industry. So if you don't sell cigarettes, um, that's going to affect the transport sector negatively. Um, you're not going to be able to produce packaging. Um, it, you're, uh, it's going to um, lead to a decline in the, the selling of raw materials. So there's really a ripple effect that has occurred from this tobacco ban and that has put, literally put hundreds of thousands of livelihoods on the line. So it's important for the government to recognize that the tobacco ban did not curb the illicit market. Uh, in fact, it did the complete opposite. It encouraged the illicit market. Uh, and lastly, the, the, the government will have to realize that they need to, re to abandon these arbitrary um, regulations that have really damaged South Africa's economy unnecessarily and really uh, start focusing on implementing a post-COVID-19 economic strategy that will include policies that will encourage investment and economic growth. Thank you, Gerbrand. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like and make sure to subscribe to our channel.